Recording in progress.
into those beautiful vibrations. Release the breath, drop the elbows down, open the prayer into a lotus cup, and just simply allow yourself to release the worries of the mind, like all of the energy that is going outside gets pulled in, worries and concerns get placed in the cup, becoming fully present at your heart center. And we inhale and we lift those burdens up, raising them up, giving them up to God. And then we turn our hands out. And I invite you to very slowly begin to sweep your field, clearing out any heaviness, clearing out anything that's not yours, so that your aura is simply the fullest expression of your energy, no matter how expansive, how contracted it may be at this time of the morning. Touch the fingertips to the earth when you get there. Press the palms deeply down. Let's take a nice long inhale here. Great big sigh out. And then I invite you to raise the arms up 60 degrees. And it's the arms that are straight. The hands are together. And really go ahead and look at yourself in your video. Make sure those arms are out, the shoulders aren't up, they're down and they're back. Tilting the chin, come into your perfect posture, and I just simply want you to listen. We invoke here the spirit of Mother Earth with our own body. We feel and connect with the flame in our heart, powerful at the intersection of the line from nipple to nipple, and from the nose to the navel. And in that space, you just imagine breathing deeply in and out into the flame at your heart. Your eye focus is on the heart space. Get that, that intersection. And we simply breathe. Try and manage your breath equal in and out.
Exhale, turn the palms so they're facing down. Slowly sweep the arms down. That little pranayama, which is a bit like a meditation as well and can be used as a meditation. It's called the old gypsy way of calling on spirit. As the hands are down on the earth, the fingertips feel into the support. Breathe into your heart. And release. The Kriya that we are going to move into is five postures only and then we lie back and then we come into meditation. It uses a slightly different breath on several of these. We're gonna be inhaling, exhaling, and then pulling Kundalini. It is literally called, this Kriya is the morning set for a quick Kundalini rising to get everything moving. If you only have a short period of time, this can even be contracted into 15 minutes. So we're doing the more expanded version, but this is the fastest way, the fastest Kriya to get the Kundalini energy rising. And it's different because usually we're inhaling, holding, squeezing Mula Bando, but this time we're actually inhaling, exhaling, and then pulling Mula Bando. So it's a little bit of a different experience. So let's go ahead and come standing. And I want you to have your arms out and your thumbs are up like this. So the palms are out, but the thumbs are up. We're gonna be using breath of fire here and we're just gonna be standing right here. Get your feet solid on that mother earth. Posture in alignment. I focus third eye and begin the breath of fire. Beautiful. Pumping the navel, starting to over oxygenate the blood. If you're pregnant, first couple days of your moon, stick with long deep breathing. 
but if you can, at least a gentle breath of fire. Great, you've got this.
to take a deep inhale. You're still holding the foot. A deep exhale. All the way out. Now pull the banda up and in. Anus sex organs perineum. Bring the navel back. Drop the head even further. And you hold this as long as you physically can with the breath out. When you need to inhale, you release the lock, you rise up, keep the eyes closed, just sit up straight, take 30 seconds just to feel the effects. Breathing gently in and out the nose, eye focus, third eye, totally tuned in to your own awareness. Right here, right now, that energy you created. <clears throat> okay, take a deep inhale in the center, raise your arm up. Turn over to your right leg, drop down, grab the right foot or the right ankle, drop the elbows, drop the head. When you get into your posture, then go ahead, breath of fire. We've got two minutes on this side as well. Take a nice long deep inhale in. Great big exhale out the nose. Squeeze Mulavanda, hold as long as you can. center, keeping the eyes closed, keeping all of that energy in, breathe, integrate, you have 30 seconds.
Let's take a deep inhale here in through the nose. Hold it. Extra sip through rounded lips. Fill up all the way. Get it down into the pelvic floor. Great big sigh out. Ah. Come lay on your bellies. We're going to be making fists with our hands putting them in our groin. So the feet are together, my hands are in my groin, in fists, my chin is on the earth. Now, what's going to happen is we're going to inhale and raise the legs up, the chin stays down, exhale with the legs up, pull Mula Banda and hold it as long as you can. Let's just try for 20 seconds here. Inhale, release the legs down. Inhale, raise the legs up. Exhale fully with the legs up. Pull Mula Banda, hold as long as you can. And then we're going to repeat this at your own pace. Focus on pulling that mola banda when the exhale is all the way out. You've got this. Find your flow with it. Now let's begin, drop yourself down, perfect your pose. We're going to do this together, last one. Chin on the earth, body straight. Inhale, raise those legs up. 
Exhale, pull it out, keep the legs up. Squeeze Mula Bandha and you hold that as long as you can with the breath out. When you have to re inhale, release the legs down. Release the hands from the groin. Bring the hands up towards the shoulders. We're going to be rising up into a cobra. So if you need to split the legs, split the legs, rise up. Belly is off the earth. Chest is through the arms. If that's not possible, do a sphinx. And this is what we're going to be doing. Concentrating on the third eye, we arch the torso up, we inhale all the way, gazing up towards the heavens, open through the throat chakra, we exhale fully, and we pull Mulabandha on the exhale. And you hold that as long as you can. When you need to inhale, you release the lock. You release the belly, you breathe in, you exhale. You pull Mula Bandha with all your might, pulling the navel in, pulling up, visualizing that Kundalini rising up from the root through the lower triangle, into the heart, the throat, up to the third eye. As if you could flicker open, flutter open the third eye, gazing up, still holding. When you need to inhale, you release. Find your flow with this breath. We are here for three minutes. to what happens when you pull this bandha so tightly, so much intention, awareness of where your breath is going, where your energy is going, total awareness of what's happening in your body. Do not get distracted.
then let's all deeply inhale together through the nose, gazing up, opening up through the heart, the throat, exhale, long exhale through the nose, squeeze and pull the bottom when that breath is out and hold this, hold the navel, and this is your strongest pull yet. Hold. On the inhale, slowly release yourself. Be careful with your lower back. Dropping first through the hips. Feel the belly connect with the mat like you're laying yourself down. Vertebra by vertebra from the front. Torso drops. You're going to touch your third eye down. Let all of your weight feel into this connection to the earth beneath you. Feel into the vibration. Feel into the energy. And then allow yourself to come into awareness of the openness of the back body. Breathing here. Breathe, third eye, touching the earth, body supported by the great spirit of Mother Earth.
to <clears throat> the human and the divine, the physical here and now, and the wonder of the gazing into infinity. Take a deep inhale. Let the exhale be complete. Squeeze Mulabanda really intentionally. Pull up anus. Pull up the perineum, pull up the sex organs, pull the navel back. Hold. Visualize the Kundalini from the root to the crown, just breaking through any blocks you have. Total activation. 
creative energy and psychic heat in motion. Inhale and release. Bring the knees up to the chest, grabbing just below the knees. Pull the knees towards the chest and release and rock from side to side. Keep those eyes closed. Massage a little bit those kidneys and adrenals and then rock yourself up and down on the spine. Again, keep the eyes closed. If you need to bring a bolster beneath you for meditation, do that. This is the perfect quick set to prepare you for meditation. Your hands are going to be on the earth and then you curl the four fingers and the index finger is going to stay out. The thumb is going to press down on all of the other fingers. And so it's just the Jupiter finger, knowledge, touching the earth. The arms are straight. Hold that posture for a moment. This is called Has Kriya. It's for our connection to the earthly and the divine. Satnam Wahe Guru. We're going to touch our fingers up. And then we release them down. Heaven and earth in our truth, in our bliss. Perfect your posture and get ready. Okay. Satanam, Satanam, Wahe Guru, Wahe Guru. Satanam, Satanam. Wahe Guru, Wahe Guru, Satanam, Satanam, Wahe Guru, Wahe Guru, Satanam, Satanam, Wahe Guru, Wahe Guru, Satanam, Satanam, Wahe Guru, Wahe Guru, Satanam, Satanam. Wahe Guru, Wahe Guru, Satanam, Satanam, Wahe Guru, Wahe Guru, Satanam, Satanam, Wahe Guru, Wahe Guru, Satanam, Satanam, Wahe Guru, Wahe Guru, Satanam, Satanam. Wahe Guru, Wahe Guru, Satanam, Satanam, Wahe Guru, Wahe Guru, Satanam, Satanam, Wahe Guru, Wahe Guru, Satanam, Satanam, Wahe Guru, Wahe Guru, Satanam, Satanam. Wahe Guru, Wahe Guru, Satanam, Satanam, Wahe Guru, Wahe Guru, Satanam, Satanam, Wahe Guru, Wahe Guru, Satanam, Satanam, Wahe Guru, Wahe Guru, Satanam, Satanam. Wahe Guru, Wahe Guru, Satanam, Satanam, Wahe Guru, Wahe Guru, Satanam, Satanam, Wahe Guru, Wahe Guru, Satanam, Satanam, Wahe Guru, Wahe Guru, Satanam, Satanam. Wahe Guru, Wahe Guru, Satanam, Satanam, Wahe Guru, Wahe Guru, Satanam, Satanam, Wahe Guru, Wahe Guru, Satanam, Satanam, Wahe Guru, Wahe Guru, Satanam, Satanam. Wahe Guru, Wahe Guru, Satanam, Satanam, Wahe Guru, Wahe Guru, 
Satnam, Satnam, Wahe Guru, Wahe Guru, Satnam, Satnam, Wahe Guru, Wahe Guru, Satnam, Satnam, Wahe Guru, Wahe Guru, Satnam, Satnam, Wahe Guru, Wahe Guru. 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 One more. Satnam, Satnam, Wahe Guru. Wahe Guru, keep your fingertips down. Breathe. Bring your hands onto your heart. Feeling into your humanity and your divinity, connected through your roots to that beautiful spirit of Mother Earth, peace in our hearts, crown reaching up, connected, eye seeing out to infinity, and we close, honoring the self, honoring each other, sending love and light out before closing in our truth, in our purpose, with our satnam. <clears throat> May the long time sun shine upon you, all love surround. Please join me. Peace to all. Light to all. Truth to all. And love to all. Bow down, giving thanks to Mother Earth and Father Sky. Blessing you in your prayers. Thanking you so much for joining me today. May we rise up in our highest vibration. 
May we show up in the world in love and in our truth, human and divine. Let's take a deep inhale, a great big sigh out. Sat Nam, everyone. Mm-hmm. <clears throat>